That is right. I continued to dig through these documents tonight, and according to this arrest report, the three teenage victims were involved in illegal activities with their three suspected killers before the suspects turned on them and dumped their bodies. Video from the Marion County Sheriff's Office shows 17 year old Robert Robinson arrested and put in a squad car. He's one of the three people accused of killing the Marion County teenagers. A 12 year old who Fox 35 is not naming and a 16 year old Taj Bruton are also suspects. According to the arrest affidavit, the suspects and victims were together the night they were killed. One of the victims' phones had pictures of themselves and a suspect showing off weapons and ammunition. They were believed to be smoking weed at what deputies called a trap house where illegal drugs are sold. Investigators say they plan to rob someone for weed and one of the victims, Layla Silvernail, was driving her car with the other victims and suspects inside. Simple terms, there is no honor among th thieves. And at some point, these three individuals turned on our three victims and murdered them. Investigators say while interviewing the 12 year old suspect, he told them they picked up Taj Bruton, who was wearing a ski mask. The 12 year old claims Bruton shot Silvernail and a 17 year old boy and claimed he was forced to shoot the third victim. The arrest report said, quote, the juvenile defendant advised he was told to shoot victim blank or his family would be killed. And when investigators questioned Robinson, the report says, quote, when asked why he shot victim blank, defendant Robinson stated because she was still alive. She was going to snitch on us all. We was all going to go to jail for life. Silvernail's body was found Thursday on the side of the road. The 17-year-old boy was found a half mile away in a ditch on Friday in a ski mask and a bloody gardening glove on his hand. The third victim found Saturday in the trunk of Silvernail's car that appeared to be pushed into a lake nine miles away near the trap house. They took a life without thought. <clears throat> They deserve the full extent of the law. There is a $10,000 reward for anyone with information that can help Bruton here. If you can have that info, call the sheriff's office. In the studio, Stephanie Wafmati, Fox 35 News.